Remember Jude with the stone in his ear? Could be a rocky road to recovery. <laughs> um, let's find out how he's getting on. Back in Sheffield, six-year-old Jude has a stone stuck in his ear. It was circle time at school. Jude was daydreaming he was a tiny explorer in a carpet jungle playing chase with a stone. No, he wasn't, Sand. That was your fantasy, not Jude's. He just picked up the stone and popped it in his ear. Stone is in my ear still. Earlier, the doctor tried to vacuum it out, but the stubborn stone wouldn't budge. So Jude and Mum are back for a second go. And here to try and rope in the rocky rascal is ear specialist Mr. Showcat Mirza. Can we have a look at your ears, Jude? Yeah. That'll be OK. Mr. Mirza looks for the lost stone. And he looks. And he looks. What does he see, Chris? It looked like he had a piece of wax deep in the ear. So there's so much wax in there, it's hard to see anything. But Mr. Mirza has something for that. Shall we give you some drops for your ears? help clean them out. It might even loosen whatever's in the ear and then it all comes out, yeah? Right, say thank you then to the doctor. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Jude, whatever happened to that stone? I don't know. Jude heads home and hopefully the eardrops will work and clear that ear. And the very next morning... That stone came out of my ear. <laughs> Whilst Jude was asleep, uh, my husband basically pulled the stone out of the ear. The eardrops worked, and Dad was on hand to retrieve the stone. He's good at fixing things. Bye, Jude. Bye, Stone. <laughs> How far does your digestive system stretch? Is it A, the length of a car, B, the height of a three-storey building, or C, all the way to the moon? In fact, the answer is B. It would stretch as high as a three-storey building. That's nine metres of innards all coiled up inside your body. Now Zahn brings you something completely different. I'm in a top-secret location, and it's so top-secret, I'm not even allowed to mention its name, but in here is a special medical collection of human body parts, and I've been allowed exclusive access to show you some of the ways the human body can go wrong. These two things are human hearts. This one is a normal human heart. Now, it's been opened up so that you can see inside, but if you put it back together, it will be about the size of a large apple. That's what's inside me and you. But this heart is much bigger. Now, the man who this heart belonged to had a rare disease which made some of the tissues in his body weaker, so they stretched like his heart and his blood vessels. And that's why his heart's got so big. Imagine having this inside your chest. It's the size of a melon. You'd definitely notice it. This guy would have had a pounding heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. You'd actually be able to see his chest wall moving with each massive beat. You'd probably have been able to see the blood washing up into his neck, so his neck would have been expanding and almost flapping with each heartbeat. And in the end, this man's heart getting so big and his blood vessels got so weak, that's what killed him. This is another organ that's gone wrong. It's a human liver, and there's something very strange about it. What do you think? these are. Hmm? Hmm? They're worms. Giant intestinal roundworms. And they were living in this person's body when they died. Now, the person that this liver belonged to would have been ill. They'd have been bright yellow for a start because their liver was all blocked up. And in fact, there might have been so many worms that they blocked their gut. They'd have lost weight and ultimately, this infection probably would have killed them. But bones can go wrong too. In the lower half of your leg, you've got two bones. The tibia, which is here, that's your shin bone, and then a smaller bone off to the side, the fibula, that one there. It's easy to break these and it's quite common. Footballers do it, skiers do it. You probably know someone yourself who's done it. And it's also quite easy to fix this usually. Doctors will pull the leg straight, put it in a plaster cast, and you can be almost as good as new in a few weeks. But what happens if you don't have a plaster cast? But take a look at this. This person broke their leg 200 years ago and they didn't see a doctor. 
Now it's a terrible break, he would have been in terrible pain and he would have had a very bad limp. But what's incredible about this is the bone has actually regrown and tried to fix itself. So we know from that that this guy lived probably for several years after his injury. Amazing.